Hi everyone, welcome to my session. I'm Howie Wong and I'm a software engineer at Apple. Happy to meet you again at Airflow Summit 2022. Last year, we had a chance to talk about how we use Apache Airflow at Apple. This year, we're going to focus on a much smaller but also interesting topic, skip tasks to make your debugging easy. In today's session, we're going to introduce the skip task use case share the challenges we face, the solution we came up with, and the lesson we learned. In Apple, we built a self-serve data platform based on Apache Airflow, aiming to decentralize ownership. Basically, users have full control of their DAX lifecycle. They can create, deploy, run, and monitor the DAX easily. If anything goes wrong, they can debug by themselves before reaching out to us. While we're talking about debugging, one question I've been heard frequently from our users is, I want to task one or a few particular tasks in my deck. Can I trigger a deck run with just those tasks? To me, this is a fair question and also a pretty common use case. For example, I have this simple deck with three tasks Suppose I don't care about task queue to save time and resource. Why don't we just skip it like this? The first time I've been asked a question, I thought, well, sure, it does not seem difficult. But when I think it through, I realized there are some challenges. This is what I discovered. When a user asks about skip tasks, there are some assumptions. First, the dependencies between non-skip tasks must retain, so your deck wouldn't just mess up. Second, skipping tasks must be lightweight. It won't force users to modify the deck. Third, skipping tasks should be easy peasy. For example, skipping multiple tasks at one time. Last but not least, if this is gonna be a new feature, we definitely want to contribute back to Apache Airflow. Now with those requirements in mind, let's see what options we have. Solution one, the idea here is simple. We trigger the deck and then mark tasks we want to skip as success. Good news is marking task states is an existing feature in Airflow and we can be easily done via UI and API. However, this will break the dependency between tasks. This stack, for example, marking task two as success may accidentally cause task one and task three to be run in parallel. And if you happen to have multiple tasks to skip in a large stack, this can be a total mess. Then how about we just remove task to skip from DAG. Comparing to the first options, this approach allows us to retain dependencies between tasks, but we can't really call this skipping task because we're actually deleting tasks from the DAG. What a hustle. Can we make skipping tasks a building feature so user can use it without having to modify the DAG? That brings us to the third options. Do not schedule tasks to skip. How does this work? To explain, now we have a DAG with task one, A, B, and C. When you green DAG, user can pass a list of a skip task via DAG run count. Suppose here, I want to skip task A. Normally, Airflow scheduler will schedule task a, B, and C in sequence. But what if we can make the scheduler a little bit smarter to know use the list of skip tasks for filtering? In this case, we're expecting task A to be skipped it, and then task B and C will be scheduled and run as usual. The nice thing about these approaches are one, dependencies between tasks are retained. Two, 
all tasks to skip can be specified at once. Three, there's no need for users to modify their DAG. However, some concerns still being raised while we're sharing this idea with Airflow community. The first concern is the change here breaks isolation between Airflow scheduler and DAG run counts. This may complicate future optimization. In the meanwhile, the change here may lead to unforeseen performance impact because it's within an airflow scheduler. So we reach out a dead end, but soon another idea was raised by the community. Let's call it pre-execute solution. Unlike solution three, pre-execute solutions requires no change to airflow itself. For those who aren't familiar with pre-execute, it is a callable function you can pass to your DAG. These functions will be called immediately before task each task execution. That means we can simply add logics to pre-execute to read DAG run count and then skip task itself if it's in the skip task list. To illustrate with an example, me as a user now pass a list of a task to skip while triggering the DAG. Then a pre-defined pre-execution function is being assigned to the task and all we do is to raise an airflow skip exception if the task should be skipped. And when that happens, the task will be marked skipped and prevented from execution. Now you may ask, here we only attempt to skip task B, but why both task B and C are skipped? What happens? This is because we set the trigger rules to all success. Once we change trigger rules to all down, for example, task C will be able to run as usual. But what if I don't want to change trigger rules? In that case, you can modify pre-execute functions to set task status and then throw an airflow exception. This way, you can achieve the same goal except task B here will look succeeded, but we all know is being skipped. It. To summarize, the pre-execute solution not only satisfied all requirements, but is also a clean and easy to distribute solution. The only these advantages we noticed so far is if you're using a Kubernetes scooter, a Kubernetes pod will still be created for the task you want to skip, but it does not affect that this solution is the best choice so far. Finally, let's talk about lesson learned. Number one, whenever you're trying to touch Airflow core, be vigilant not to add extra burden to Airflow scheduler. Number two, in terms of skipping tasks, marking tasks as skipped can be appealing sometimes, but be aware about the side effect caused by the trigger rules. Last but not least, from this experience, we learned that Airflow's DAG list to be a great resources for us as Airflow user to learn, share, and discuss an idea with the community. And you are more than welcome to join. Thank you for attending the session. I look forward to share more and learn more from this fantastic community. Hope you enjoy the rest of the time at the Airflow Summit.